I know what you're thinking. I've basically put the title on the vlog as we have a new caravan or something similar and here I am still sitting in the office. Well, we do have a new caravan um, and that's the thing, it is a new caravan so we don't actually have it yet. We're not in, I think it hasn't been built at the time of making this video. Um, so what do we go for? Right, not keep you in suspense anymore, we went for a Swift Challenger 650. Brand new. Um, now we've got a reasonably good price for it. I wouldn't say you know it was the world's cheapest, the best deal ever. But what we did, we looked at a few caravan dealers online um, and looked at the basically the cheapest one we could find. Uh, spoke to them, spoke to them, got an idea of delivery because uh, it's important for us to get it before Easter. And um, by the way, it's a February March kind of delivery time. Um, so I spoke to a couple of dealers, got a price from them. And then rather cheekily spoke to our nearest dealer and basically said to them if you can match this price i'll buy it for from you which they were i say happy to do i mean they did do now reason we bought new two two reasons two reasons firstly was basically supply and demand on um used caravans just isn't there at the moment and prices are quite ridiculous in my opinion um looking at the equipment say if you looked at a 650 say 2018 it might only be two grand less or people are asking anyway privately two grand less and i've seen on a few dealers 2020 ones uh, which they're saying they are new unused um going for about the same price but obviously you can get them straight away that's a no-brainer for me to get the new caravan um, as we are now uh, the second reason is as with a lot of you been affected by coronavirus but we've been very fortunate um, the situation that is not the illness. I've been very fortunate to be able to, well, I'm self-employed, very fortunate to be able to work from home since March. Now, some of you may know that I work in London and commute every day usually, and that, it's not a cheap thing to do. It's a, uh, if I told you the per month, you would question my sanity. Uh, however, during these uh, eight or so months, I've been saving that money that I usually use for commuting and over that period of time, the cost of difference between selling our car to Hena and buying the Swift, that savings has covered that. So that's the reason why we bought a new caravan. Now, I've had questions about why we are kind of not negotiating on a twin axle, then why didn't we get a single axle? Now, there are a few reasons. I've got them written down here. It's all personal things, obviously. Firstly, twin axles generally have bigger fridges. Other than the entry, very entry level ones, I think, they have like a larger fridge stability on the road now again some people are going to disagree with this but i know that a twin axle is more stable than a single axle i've owned both i've towed both with the same car and twin axle is heavier than a single axle and you get in a situation where you overtake lorries on a motorway or they overtake you and you get this sweat which we're really uncomfortable with and when we've got a twin axle that's stopped straight away personally think they look better on the road and also just looking at them the I like the two wheels, you know, obviously, personally, they look better. The layouts that are offered for two and axles are, for us, more suitable, uh, especially when it comes to a middle washroom, which is what the um, Challenger 650 is. You can have the sink in a different position. I'll maybe show you in a little while, which, again, opens the bathroom up a bit more. Uh, and they're, they're pretty much, the. I mean, I know people argue that there's a greater cost in twin axles. Well, you know what? to buy them they're about 1500 pound more um and servicing for us i know it works out about 20 pound more for a service insurance i don't know what 50 pound a year more I don't, I don't know and then i know people say well it's got four tires i mean to change the tires every five years and the cost of two tires isn't going to put me off buying a to an axle so all your arguments are wrong <laughs> you single single axle what it is you're too scared to reverse a twin axle and they're actually easier and if you've got suitable motor movers, you don't need to reverse anyway. So you have no worries. Go out and get one now. Go on, off you go. Trade in that single axle, get a twin. It's a personal thing, isn't it? I don't, you know, I don't moan at you about having a single axle, so don't moan at me about having a twin. How dare you? So that's done. That's a done deal. We've ordered it. February, March build. Hopefully we'll get it then. Well, well in time for Easter in any case, and certainly in time for our trip next year to France, which hopefully will go ahead situation allowing so maybe we'll have a quick look at the um uh, the challenger that's my waffling over if you don't want to see the what we bought then feel free to get on with your day 
so let's just nip onto Swift's website um, and show you. Um, I don't obviously have any photos of the actual caravan yet because it hasn't been built and uh, we're still waiting. So where are we? Now, this, if you, I don't know if you're familiar with challenges. I mean, I certainly wasn't until I started looking, but there are quite a few differences this year. This is a 2021 model layout. Obviously, nothing changed with the layout, but things that have changed that we like, uh, which made us get the Challenger over. Now, if we were buying last year, in fact, I looked at 2020 and 2019 models, and we don't, if we're honest, there's too many things we don't like. Now, with this year, they've gone a lot, a lot more kind of um, neutral on the interior. Uh, curtains, certainly, previous ones had these kind of red, what we used to call them giraffe curtains. Or maybe I'll insert pictures as I'm talking. But so this is much more neutral um, cushions. Um, yeah, everything, curtains, uh, non-shiny, non-gloss cupboards, which we, we prefer non-gloss, uh, fingerprints and all that, can you, you know. Um, so there's nothing about that we don't like. Uh, with the Challenger here, the front by the plugs, you do only get one plug socket and one and two USB ports. I think you can upgrade those. I think something we might, you know, I might even, if Mandy lets me, I might even give it a bit of a DIY. This is how you add an extra plug socket. Or I might get the dealer to do it, failing that. Um, speakers sunroof I mean there's nothing to us that looks particularly basic about this now one of the important things for us is that lighting um, it's a big thing with us and with the Swift and uh, with the um, Bailey one of the things you couldn't you you could these reading lights here you could dim those but the main caravan lights you couldn't dim how did that happen anyway uh, yeah so so with this Swift command um, you can dim the lights, or at least some of them, which is good for us. Splashback we liked, and um, preferred it over the Bailey. Um, nice little bit of workshop there, good kitchen. Um, now these, I thought these cooker knobs looked quite, quite smart, but when I looked at the um, Challenger that we looked at, it wasn't the 650, but they are a bit cheap. You know, it's all about compromise, isn't it? <laughs> So look at the layouts, look at the layouts here. So here's the 650. So this is the advertised price. Now you can get it cheaper than that, not a lot cheaper. You can you can see them cheaper than that on um, a couple of uh, caravan dealers up north. Uh, you know, we got it for a similar price. Um, so things we do like, we like this pull out chest thing one drawer and the hidden drawer in there that's nice um, obviously there you see the front binnacle as they call it so you've got a plug socket there um, USB there and these blanks where you can add extra ones should you want um, last vlog I think I was talking about this about manufacturers crippling caravans as they go down the range so this is one of the things they do right so if you probably get an elegance or an elegance grande you'd get plugs in here right but you know we can live with just one there. USB, USB really is, is the is the king at the moment. Yeah, there you go. There's a USB there. Um, nice, plenty of space under there. Now these, we don't actually know the length of these benches, but we're kind of guessing they're big enough. <laughs> see, this is a gamble you take, right? We could, you can't. I, I couldn't easily get to see a 2021 650. So I've had to go, basically I'm looking at another Challenger, actually the 480 or something, and to get the feel of the interior. And then I've just got to hope these are big enough. <laughs> wow. Um, obviously those lights there. Now I don't think they, they're, I'll go back to those. I don't think they're USB, these are USB, but we can change those. Another vlog coming up. I know someone else has done this, bought a entry level caravan and then had a series of videos, you'll know who it is, a series of videos updating things. Um, yeah, it comes out to bed, I'm trying to get to the bedroom. don't know why my internet connection is so slow. <clears throat> oh, like I say, microwave in the middle, which is a big plus for us. 
yeah here's the thing see this is the, I know this is a single axle because it's only got the small fridge there the twin axle has the see this is what Swift do I'm looking at 650 why are they putting in pictures from other other ranges it's completely different there's the command there's the outer system so I can't really see from here the bedroom I mean obviously on other websites other sites I've seen seen it uh, exterior so with the 2021 Challenger they've now included what they used to call the Lux Pack now the Lux Pack I think used to be um, things that are essential to us really uh, external barbecue point external plug socket fly screen on the door that's an that's an extra usually but they included it all this year again another plus for us actually buying new well, it didn't come with ATC that's the, that's the thing so that was a 339 pounds uh, upgrade that we we got um, I wanted ATC I wanted didn't want to you know is it and this the luxury it's like having ABS on a car right I think you you just need it it's one of those things you just need it's not particularly a luxury or oh, 360 walkthrough stay with me didn't see this before is this the 650 though oh I'll take it all back Swift sorry I, I didn't realize you had this just like the coachman stay with me I don't know how many months I've been looking at this website and I didn't realize they had this walkthrough is this actually this I think it is a six yeah the wood looks a bit darker than I remember anyway um, I think it's a 2021 so covers there so I'll just have a look at I didn't know this was on here this has made my day actually um, yeah, there's a the fridge it's one of those fridges that opens left and right now on the Cartagena the fridge was 190 litres on this it's 133 so it's quite a bit smaller again you have to compromise somewhere um, doesn't have a barn door which we're happy with um, we don't have dogs so you know we don't need it half open for them to be able to look out um, so that's better for us TV points already there Sorry, I can't tell you how much this has made my day and I've literally been looking at these caravans for two months. Um, ah, no, see, right, I mentioned earlier about the, why we get a twin axle. Now, on the single axle, the sink is here. On the twin axle, you've got room to put it over here. See, there's that's basically the difference in size. A small thing, I know, but it's what we wanted, so it makes our life better. Um, plenty of storage you see there. Now the, oh, just need, now the elegance has a mirror here, something we can do without. Um, no curtains, which makes it look a bit weird, but we're happy enough with that. Um, TV, go there, which is good. Now we're hoping that this isn't too claustrophobic this bedroom, but we don't think it will be. Uh, but it's kind of a bit of a risk that you take, I suppose. Uh, outer heating plug sockets there and not over there again on the elegance you probably would duvalet mattress see all these things convince us to buy this particular caravan the mattress on the bailey it's just like it might as well we might as well not have a mattress there we honestly we had a mattress um, protector and on that we had a mattress topper and on that we had the duvet <clears throat> so the bed was quite high um, all because we were trying to get it a bit softer because it's a fucking nightmare I know it's a personal taste thing but another thing I wasn't keen on these shower doors I went in a few swifts at the shows um, and I couldn't get this and I've seen other people struggle with it as well I couldn't get this to work so guarantee first time I use it it will break so I might as well try to use it whilst we're getting the handover. Um, out of heat in there, nice shelves up there. Good shower. Um, some people have mentioned, you know, what about the um, wheel arch there in the shower? Now I don't think that, I think that you could use things to put things on there or I don't think it will affect the size of the shower too much. Oh, 
One thing we are considering, no, sorry, I'm, I'm back into, we, we've got this now, we ordered it. So one thing we're getting is an air, con, air conditioning unit up here. So it takes out this skylight and put an air con in. Um, now we currently use, which is really good, we use um, Cool My Camper air con, which is really good. But this will just, now I've always been anti these. If you see any of my other vlogs, I've been anti, there you go. But things change, so we have an air con there and obviously quad movers. Um, that's pretty much it really. That's a quick look at it. I want to show you the outside, but I don't know if, um, I don't think that it's got the actual 650 outside. So that's it, Swift Challenger 650 2021, arriving March, hopefully, or maybe February next year. Um, that's it, I've got to go because my battery's about to die, although you can't see it. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. I'll update you when we get it and, um, you know, comments below on everything. Thanks for watching. See you next one. It's